<laughs> it's fantastic. It's phenomenal. Look at this. First of all, do you need any convincing that your eye is actually an extension of brain tissue? I mean, doesn't it look like it's a little brain with eyeballs on it? That would be a really cool dissection. So light information stimulates receptors in the retina. They, through the magic of all five layers of retina cells, are going to send the message through cranial nerve number two, the optic nerve. Now, there's all sorts of really cool and fascinating physiological uh, consequences of the fact that the optic nerves actually cross at the optic chiasm. And you can see that information from the right side, I don't know, is that the, that guy's right or is that his left? Whatever. I think that's his left. Am I correct? Whatever. Really, whatever. Keep going. <laughs> okay. That those, that information splits and goes to both sides of the brain. So does the information from the other eyeball. It goes to both sides of the brain. So you actually have a place where you are re receiving binocular vision, both of your eyes, and that sight information is being processed on both sides of your brain. Where are you going to expect it to go? This is a, such a lovely image because you're going to have a stop right here at the thalamus. No surprise. We don't consciously process every single piece of light information that enters our eyeball. We just don't think about all of it. But look at what happens. The fibers actually branch. We have some of them, the same stimulus. The light from my wall is going into my eye and it's activating all my retinal cells, and they're all sending the message that there is something up there that we're looking at, splits and goes to both sides of the brain, and some of those fibers go to the thalamus where you would expect, and some of those fibers go where? <sighs> to the superior colliculus. This is different than the ear. Remember, in that pathway, we went to the inferior colliculus first, and then we went to the thalamus. This is different. This is, we're dividing and conquering. Let's send that information both places at the same time. The thalamus will decide, should we make this conscious or not? The superior colliculus will pay attention for the spider dropping out of the ceiling and um, scaring the crap out of you. From the superior colliculus, if it is activated, then the reflex occurs and all that motor stuff happens. There are no motor pathways on this image right now. So who, I mean, from the thalamus, there could be motor things that are happening. But if the thalamus decides, worthy, let's send it to the occipital lobe back here where, okay, let's, let's think about what we're seeing. Let's think about how great this lecture on the site is, on the site, whatever. <sighs> is there anything else you need to know? I don't think so. Does that fill in a whole bunch of really interesting blanks for you? It totally does for me. All right, so that is, uh, we're done. And now you can get really excited about doing mapping pathways all sorts of stimuli, all sorts of responses. Let's see what happens with them. But that's not tonight. That's the next lecture. Bye-bye.